Now, on the issue of Very Dark Man being arrested, I have two points I'm going to bring out from this whole issue of arrest. In the first place, when Very Dark Man started, when he came into the limelight with his campaign against fake drugs, fake, um, you know, um, organic creams, not having NAFTAC number and all of that. You know, he also went in to talk about people who produce fake drinks, fake wines, fake soft drinks, fake alcoholic drinks. You know, anything that is not genuine, very dark man stood against it. When he started this very campaign, majority of Nigerians were in support of him. Majority of Nigerians stood behind him. Majority of Nigerians listen to him because, of course, who doesn't like someone who will come out and sanitize the society, sanitize the economy of the ills that has actually swallowed it up? Very Dark Man became popular through that very act of condemning what the country sees as normal. You know, most times people really see certain things as eh, what's wrong with it there's nothing wrong with that like when you produce organic cream that has now that has no have that number that is not certified and then starts to give people some kind of skin reactions some people will actually say what's well, there maybe it's just the person's skin that is reacting to it it's not as if the skin is not as if the cream is actually bad people will say things like that people will stand on the side of the cream sellers people will stand on the side of the fake drug producers and all of that you know, but very dark man made us to understand that what is wrong is wrong. Very dark man that was celebrated for opening the eyes of Nigerians to see the, you know, the stuff that has been going on behind closed doors. Very dark man now began to dive away from the lane which he initially came out with, which we all knew him with. He now started diving into people's personal affairs, talking about people's marriages, their personal lives. It was now an issue of like, you know, gossip, gossip, discussion, him coming to verbally attack people on his platform, him having issues with women. Very Dark Man did not have a problem with just one woman. Not just one, not two. About four women about four if not more i can remember very dark man has had issues with like he will come online they will give themselves a lot of buzzbos buzzbos very dark man will talk he will say all he has to say against them or about them you know this went on for a long time and before we knew what was happening very dark man began to step on a lot of toes very dark man began to to you know touch some in quotes anointed people in the society some untouchables very dark man began to overdo will i use the word overdo because to some extent a lot of people who were not even actually in support of his fight against the issue of clamping down products that have no ndlea nafdac number and all of that a lot of people who were actually against his activities, against him exposing, you know, the rubbish that was happening in the society before, now found an opportunity to stand against him and then to come and attack him. So the way I see this thing, very dark man faced opposition from people whom he had fought, from people who he had he has you know, condemned before, people's businesses whom he has spoiled in the past. Of course, like. Let's be very honest. If someone comes to destroy your business, you won't just sit down there and allow the person finish it up and then allow the person, maybe whatever it is you have worked for years, for ages to build, somebody will just wake up one day and come and burn them to ashes. I'm very sure you won't be happy about it. That was exactly how these people felt. Most of the people whom he has in one way or the other exposed in the past, definitely will come fighting now nobody just gonna sit down there and say oh no let me just let him be so very dark man's ordeals that he's facing right now could be as a result of the people whom he has actually tampered with their business in one way or the other 
all those people or some select group of people in the society who feels they are untouchable and and very dark man had the nerves to actually call them out now we understand there's something called freedom of speech where you have the right to express yourself but sometimes this freedom of speech also comes with some repercussions which means that if you talk the one you're not supposed to talk you put yourself in trouble which means that even if you have this freedom of speech to express yourself it's not everybody you will talk about or you should talk about and this also means that even if you have to talk about other people or rather of people you must be careful what you say about them so it doesn't sound like you're bullying them or you're slandering them so at some point very dark man actually derailed it was very obvious it was obvious when he was derailing and at the point he was derailing people were actually pointing this out to him but very dark man for one reason or the other refused to see reasons for what people were saying at that point he was even claiming right at some, at some point, he was even making us believe that he has the right to do whatever he wants to do. Nobody can arrest him. Nobody can use jazz on him. Nobody can lock him up. Nobody can do this. Nobody can do that. That was the point he was supposed to, to pause, sit down and reflect on what he's doing. Am I still on the right path? Am I still on that path I was when I started, when people began to like me? Why are some of the comments on my comment section beginning to work against me? Because at some point I was monitoring his comment section and I discovered a lot of people, majority of the comments, they were usually against him. They were usually against what he was doing. Like some of the people were like, very dark man, you're going too far. Very dark man, you're talking too much. Very dark man, this is becoming too much. Very dark man, you should not involve yourself in everything. Very dark man, you should pick your fight, pick your battles, things like that. But at that point, because he had already derailed, because he had already lost it, he was not listening. Now, one thing I also deduce from this whole thing is that, number one, very dark man is a very young guy. He's not even up to 30s. I think he's in his late 20s. Very Dark Man has not really seen life. He has not really seen anything about this life. He has not really experienced what life is all about. Another area where Very Dark Man also shot himself in the foot was in the issue of this lady that just got married recently, the single mother, um, Lamba's single mother or rather ex-girlfriend who got married to her um, her her new husband and all of that. And the way Very Dark Man talked about this particular story, you would think Very Dark Man has a personal vendetta against the girl. What do you know? In your late 20s, you have not, have, you've not really had serious challenges of life that will pull you down to your feet and make you say, no, let me behave myself. He went so far to condemn a girl without knowing her background story. And this is the same thing. He's very passionate about a case. Each time Very Dark Man handles a case, he handles it passionately. He does not care whose ox is God. He will say it like his life depends on it. That was the same way he carried this girl's matter on his head for a long time, you know, hitting on it and making it look like, you know, the girl has committed the worst sin on earth and he was even wishing and hoping the girl's marriage was, you know, was, was, was not going to last and all of that. You don't know how many people are not happy about this, his outbursts, about his actions. There are a lot of people that are not happy with him. And if you think that very dark man, because he's very popular now, because you know he has gotten to a level in his life where people know him and he's untouchable. No, no matter how untouchable you are in a society, there are people who are still higher than you in authority. There are people who can still suppress you, who can still press you down and let you understand that no matter how high and mighty you think you are, you are still a baby. That is exactly what has happened to very dark man. I do hope that he is released on time. And I do hope that when he comes out, he might have learned his lessons. Because sometimes you need to go through certain challenges in life for you to readjust and I do hope that when he comes out, he will be more mature to handle certain issues.